Hello friends, my name is uh, Omkar Chavai and uh, today's date is uh, 29th of September 2022 and uh, today's over our topic is on multi-threading in Java. So let's begin. So first we will see what is multi-threading. So multi-threading in Java is a process of executing multiple threads simultaneously and uh, a thread is a lightweight sub-process and uh, the smallest unit of processing. And, uh, mul uh, Multiprocessing and multithreading uh, both are used to achieve multitasking. Uh, however, we use multithreading than multiprocessing because threads give the shared memory area. They uh, don't allocate separa a separate memory area, so uh, we can save uh, memory and context switching between the threads uh, less uh, less time uh, than process. And so uh, we see one uh, the advantages of multithreading one by one. So, uh, first advantage is it doesn't block the user uh, because threads are independent and uh, we can perform multiple operations at the same time and uh, and also we can perform many operations together so it saves time. And the third one is uh, threads are important so it doesn't uh, affect other threads if an uh, execution occurs or in a single uh, thread. And, uh, so what is multitasking? Uh, multitasking is a process of executing multiple uh, tasks simultaneously and we use multitasking uh, to utilize the CPU. Uh, multi uh, multitasking can be achieved in two ways. First one is process based multitasking and second one is thread, uh, thread based multitasking. So in process based multitasking, uh, each process has an address in memory. Uh, we can, in other words, we can say that each process allocates a separate memory area and a process is heavyweight and in thread uh, based multitasking uh, threads uh, share the same address space and threads is lightweight so uh, we see, uh, uh, now we see what is thread so thread is lightweight uh, sub process and the smallest unit of processing uh, means it is a uh, separate uh, path of execution threads are independent and if there occurs uh, if there occurs exception in one thread it doesn't affect other threads, it uh, used a shared memory area. So now we see uh, na the Java thread class. Uh, means, uh, Java provides thread class to achieve thread programming. And in thread class provides uh, constructions and methods to create and perform operations on a thread. The thread class extends object class and implements the runnable interface. And we see uh, in Java thread method uh, means uh, we can perform the uh, methods uh, that uh, start method, then a run method, flip method, uh, or we can say current thread method, join method. So uh, that's all from me. Thank you.